All right, so hi everyone, my name is El Kensa. I'm a product specialist with Aviva Select California. I've been working with Aviva Select for the last two years. Before that, I worked for Aviva, and before that, I worked for Schneider. Uh, so yeah, I've been in the Wonderware ecosystem for the last six, seven years. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about Aviva Cloud today, which is a very broad topic, and I was asked to present it in 20 minutes. So I'm, I'm going to do my absolute best to cover as many points as possible. I'm going to be talking about basically Aviva and the cloud, some statistics, some numbers. I'm going to be talking about um, cybersecurity. I know people like these questions and questions about security when we're talking about the cloud. And I'm going to be talking about Aviva Connect, Development Studio, Integration Studio, and Insight, which are three of our Aviva cloud offerings or <coughs> products. And then I'm gonna show a success story. Okay, let's get going. All right, so as you can see here, some statistics on the screen. Um, let's start with benefits of the cloud. What are the known benefits of uh, using cloud products? Ease of use, reduced IT cost, <laughs> increased availability and scalability. And as you can see here, so far we have more than 4,400 um, Customers globally already using our cloud products. Uh, more than 100,000 per week unique user sessions. And all of these, uh, some, some of these, okay. Most of these customers have reported at least 20% efficiency gain by uh, moving to the cloud. All right, so very quickly, what are Aviva cloud offerings, or some of them at least? Uh, we're gonna be talking about, as I mentioned, um, development Studio, Integration Studio, Insight, probably the most famous. I don't know if any of you guys are using that. We're gonna do a, like a, a very tiny uh, deep dive in that. And then also there are the um, engineering products or engineering tools. There's the um, E3D, there are the simulation products, there's the Point Cloud Manager maybe. I don't know if you guys are familiar with any of the engineering tools, but we have engineering tools and we have operation tools on the cloud. All right, so again, going back to cloud security and cybersecurity. And again, probably the first question that comes to anyone's mind when we're talking about the cloud, especially when it comes to operation and industry, is security. So Aviva offers highly scalable, robust, and secure cloud solutions by utilizing trusted partners. Our trusted partners are uh, Amazon AWS and Microsoft Azure. These two guys are leading uh, public cloud providers. And we do, um, obviously there are white papers and documentation and like some web pages about Aviva and cybersecurity and security in general for all the Aviva products. If you guys are interested, I'll be more than glad to share any resources with you. But in this slide here, just one slide, I'm gonna talk very high level on some strategies that Aviva takes in order to uh, secure the cloud for our customers. The first thing is, again, our cloud partners, as you can see here at the bottom, let's see, right? So we, again, as I mentioned, there is Microsoft Azure and Amazon AWS. Um, these are the two leading companies or two leading providers for public cloud services. Each company provides a robust global cloud platform that incorporates strong security practices as well as ensuring high availability. We also work on a shared responsibility uh, practice, as you can see here. So the, the first layer is the trusted partners. The second layer is gonna be us, Aviva, and what we work on is securing your we're securing the network, the data, the applications. And then we count on our customers, this is you guys at the top, to uh, secure your or account credentials and do the configuration for your, uh, basically, um, account credentials and um, permissions, roles and permissions. So this is very high level cybersecurity and security introduction. There's also a third point that I wanted to mention here, which is the data protection. So data protection and application security, data at rest uh, is encrypted using industry standards and techniques. Data in motion is also encrypted using TLS 1.2 or later to ensure communication security. And that's that for the security. 
All right. So what do you see as an Aviva Cloud user? The first thing that I wanted to mention here is this Aviva Connect. This is the first platform that you see as an Aviva Cloud user, if you're using any of the uh, offerings. Um, someone once told me that they call this an authentication engine, and I like that description, because this is, if I log into my Aviva Connect, I have to log in with my credentials, and then once I get on my Aviva Connect account, I can see all of my solutions, all my Insight solutions, all of my Integration Studio solutions, which are different products, right? But I can still see all of them in Aviva Connect, which is the platform, right? So Aviva Connect is your industrial cloud platform. So that's briefly just what is Aviva Connect. The second thing that I'm going to talk about, which is the first product which is Development Studio. I prepared two slides for Development Studio and Integration Studio, and I then I thought, why do I speak uh, when the product manager is here, right? So I'm doing you all a favor, and I'm <laughs> inviting Brian Leonard so he could talk to us a little bit about Development Studio. Thank you. Back by popular demand. Uh, <laughs> uh, Development Studio. So this is a product that uh, we just launched recently, um, and it, it's it's a multi-phase approach. Right? Initially, we're offering it with a, uh, essentially, uh, as a, core place for you to view all of the, your entitlements that you have in terms of your on-premise software and um, cloud-based services that you're using. So if you have um, operation control, if you're an integrator or whatever, you can look through this, uh, uh, use this as a hub to look and see all the different solutions that you have available to you. So you let's say, well, I've got um, System Platform, or where, where are all my um, apps available for System Platform? They're all available in the System Platform location there. So different versions, different collections of software that you've got are available there. Uh, oh, I guess we have a little video here that goes over this. So this yeah. is a, a little video that goes over that uh, selection there. So depending on the solution that I purchased, this is, would be like a, in terms of an end customer that has the different levels of operations control. Or the different levels have the different products that are available within it. So it automatically uh, determines which um, solutions are available to you. So you can download there, their uh, patches, etc., and you can do your cloud storage. Um, eventually, we're going to offer um, a, the capability of having Integration Studio built into the product. Mm -hmm. um, right now, there's some dedicated solutions. But Integration Studio is essentially um, infrastructure as a service. So if you have a, a, your production system, it's got you know, however many nodes you got in production, but you want to create a sandbox of that environment, or you're an integrator who has multiple sandboxes for every customer, you would create the infrastructure inside Integration Studio. Let's say you would see <coughs> a three-node system of 2020 R2. So you go in and you say, I, there's my three nodes, so I got 2020 R2, they'll automatically, or will automatically create the virtual machines, install everything that you selected, and then make them available to you in the cloud. So if you want to access them in your office, at home, and you want to have your customer access them, or an integrator, or support staff, they can all access them um, independently of one another, depending on how whoever you grant access to it that way. So that's uh, that's there, you can create snapshots, so if you want to test an upgrade, let's say, you go 2020, you want to see what the upgrade of 2023 is, mm -hmm. you can do that there, copy all that for you. And all right, I think that's that about right. sums it up. Um, uh, yeah, unless anyone has any questions about these two products, this is the time to ask. <laughs> and if you're an SI, you already have access to it. Yep. Um, you pay for the time that you use the virtual machines. Okay. Um, if you're um, a subscription customer with on support, you also have access to it as well. All right. All right, thank you. you all right, so I guess one of my favorite things about Integration Studio is that I don't have to worry about building the VM, installing the software, or licensing it. Um, as a pre-sales engineer myself, I use it uh, very often. I, for example, upgrade customer applications on it. All I need to do, as Brian mentioned, just spin a VM. It's literally just a checkbox, and then you choose whatever version of the software you want. I want InTouch 2014, and then I can just work on it. It takes literally a few minutes to, um, to get the VM built and the the software installed and licensed. You don't have to worry about all of that. And that's what we mean by reduced IT costs, right? So that's that for development studios, integration studio, uh, two of the cloud offerings. The third one that I wanted to mention here is Insight. Any Insight users? Anyone heard of Insight? All right, there you go. Anyone took an Insight workshop with us before? I, I know, I've seen some of you guys. All right. <laughs> We do have two Insight, I think, uh, workshops coming up in April. I think it's in the schedule in front of you guys. Uh, but we have Insight workshops all the time. Uh, it's probably one of the most common um, cloud offering pr products that our customers are using. So Insight is, uh, again, is it's, it's a core Aviva Cloud product. 
what it does is it enables you to make better and faster decisions with complete visibility of your operations in the cloud. I will try and give you a very small demo just to show you how it looks like. Uh, but before we do that, I want to also mention some of the benefits. It um, unlocks critical data, it increases collaboration, improve asset reliability, and it drives operational performance. And let's see if I can get to the demo very, very quickly. It is very easy to start working with Aviva Insight. There is a live demo that you could access and just play around with. Uh, we also give the option of um, getting a free trial for 45 days where you could upload your data and practice building a solution around your data. Uh, again, we mentioned uh, the mobile app, so you could have you could see all the dashboards and the graphics on your mobile device, and it's uh, it adapts your screen, it's so it's not going to look funny or stretched or squeezed. So that's that for Aviva Insight, and then there is again going back to security. Uh, one important point here is how we publish data to Insight. Uh, we get a lot of questions on how that works, and the way this works very simply is. This is your control layer or your control network. Um, let's say you have an Aviva historian here, right? So, or any SCADA, let's say you have InTouch and you have an Insight publisher, so you're pushing data from your InTouch to Insight. It will go through the DMZ secure link. It is one way or a single outbound only port, right? 443 by default. There is no inbound connection, so it's not two way communication. And um, hence the security. So um, you don't, and again, it's read only, so you're not expecting any data to be written down to your control there. Uh, what else is there? Anonymous HTTP proxy and uh, across a DMZ secure link. I didn't get that. Could you try? Sorry, my Siri is <laughs> decided to speak. Um, all right, so I'll leave you now with about three minutes. Do I have how how? Long do I have, guys? Three minutes is okay? All right, so, yeah, it's a blue screen. <laughs> I'll just pretend I have three minutes. So I'm gonna leave you with this uh, success story. This is our friend, uh, he's an account manager in the north. His name is Chris Casey. He is interviewing one of his customers, city of Ronert. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. And uh, yeah, I'll just leave you to that. Hello, everybody. This is uh, Chris Casey with uh, Aviva Select California, and today I'm joined by our friend Jason Kindle, who is an instrument tech uh, at the city of Rona Park. Uh, welcome, Jason. Thanks, Chris. Good to be here. Yeah. Um, Jason, uh, I know that you guys have been using um, Wonderware SCADA for, what, over 15 years now? And uh, about a year and a half ago, you decided to add Aviva Insight uh, to your system. Um, can you tell us a little bit why you decided to do so? Yeah, of course, Chris. Um, we were looking for a way to have access to our data when we're in the field to where we didn't have to remote desktop in, um, have the ability to share the data remotely with non-operators, you know, so that minimizes the security because they're viewing it basically in an air gap situation that's in the cloud. Um, a lot of our engineers actually use the data. They can pull data as needed out of it for right. projects. And then probably one of the biggest things is when you have uh, third party consultant firms that you don't necessarily want in a SCADA environment, you could give them access and they can trend and create Excel sheets and all sorts of dashboards for monitoring. Sure. And uh, how, how do you feel the insights uh, helped you with some of your issues? Um, it's actually helped quite a bit because it, it's a little more convenient carrying my phone. Sure, just, uh, just like checking your email, right? Uh, it, it's actually easier. I mean, we've since actually installed all of this on our duty guys' phones. And so when they're up on call, they instantly can pull it up and, and know what the issue is when they receive a call-up be, before they even leave their house. And that, that's right. something is like really key because you know what you're going, you're getting, like getting into. And exactly. then the other beautiful thing is depending on who you are and how you, you set up your group permissions, you can actually alarm out of Aviva Insight separate from your SCADA network. So you get an alert and an email on your phone. And 
that having that ability to do that for people that are not operators is is amazing. Yeah, and and Jason, thanks so much for sharing uh, this with us. That, you know, is there anything else that um, you would recommend to other people? Maybe someone thinking about maybe moving to, to Aviva Insight. You know, anything you can tell them? I don't know how else to explain it other than give it a test drive. Your initial setup, which is actually really simple. Um, you know, you import your tags in, you create dashboards, you can have all the, the really important information that you need on your phone or your desktop right. without actually having to be in the SCADA network. Jason, thanks so much for letting us out, letting us know how uh, Viva Insights really helped you, you know, into the visibility and into your operations. So um, I really appreciate your time today. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. So that's it, everybody. If anybody has any questions regarding Aviva Insight, uh, please, con us, uh, please contact us here at Aviva Select California. And thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Bye-bye.